Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I want to do today is I want to start a little bit of a different type of mini-series. And we're going to call this series the Everyman Ammo Can Toolbox. And it's going to be based on a 50 caliber ammo can. And it's going to be your basic handyman toolbox to be able to fix things or adjust things or be able to create something on the fly that you may need. And it's going to be the box that you would keep somewhere in like a side-by-side, -side, in a truck, in a camper, in your home, in your garage. Just something that you could grab this box when somebody says, hey, I need something fixed. And you can take this box and go try to fix it or at least mend it or repair it temporarily till it can be fixed correctly. So we're going to put tools in here that we're going to buy that are used, not new. Everything that's going to go in this box is going to come from flea markets, yard sales, roadside sales, that kind of stuff. So we're not going to put anything new in this box. Now, I've started and put a few things in here that I think are important, okay? And when I start with things, there's a couple things that I would say are important no matter what. Now, obviously, you need a set of screwdrivers, both Phillips and regular. Again, we're not going to get too fancy pants here by having a whole bunch of different star bits and all that kind of stuff right now. We're talking about very common tools, okay? So, a couple different screwdrivers of Phillips and flathead are always going to be a bonus. A couple things I think are really important. Number one is a good hammer, the old BFH. That's always a good bet. This is a nice little cross peen, probably pound and a half hammer with a fairly short handle on it. It's in the ammo can just right, but it will get the job done if you got a beat on something. No question about it, okay? Now, I've got several what I would call plier tools in here, okay? And let's talk about that because I think those are one of the most important things in this toolbox other than, like I said, screwdrivers, things like that. So I've got a set of needle nose pliers. <clears throat> All right, none of these tools cost me over $6. I think most of them are like $5 or less, okay? So I've got a good set of American-made, old-school needle nose pliers in here. I have... A set of channel locks in here, adjustable channel locks. Again, old school, American made, bulletproof, going to last forever. I have a pair of lineman pliers in here. So they have side cut ability on them and they have pliers on them and they have wire cutting ability on them. So lots of versatility in that small pair of pliers. And then my all-time favorite, and I would never have a toolbox without it, a set of fencing pliers. As far as manipulating wire and things like that goes to mend a fence, fix something, tie something up real quick, pound a fence nail, pull a fence nail, all that kind of stuff. These things are legit. You can even pound small brads and things with these if you're pounding small nails. So that's a very legit thing to have. And you can pull nails with these as well. Okay. And then I've got a small, I say small, like a six or an eight inch Adjustable wrench in here, I would put a larger one in here as well. I'd have one smaller one, larger one. I haven't got the larger one yet. These are tools I've collected just over the weekend, real quick, to kind of get this toolbox going for us so it's interactive, okay? I also have a dual-sided spark plug wrench, all right? Small engine repair, maybe something around the homestead, around the house, around that you may need to take care of. So something that you can take a spark plug out, clean a spark plug up with, very important. This is dual sided. This thing was like a quarter. All right. And you stick a screwdriver through it to turn it. So it makes it real simple. And then I'm going to leave it kind of at that. I've got a few screwdrivers in here and things like that, but I'm going to kind of leave it with more of a start of these are the types of pliers. I think we should have, we should have a needle nose, channel locks, lineman's pliers, fence pliers, adjustable wrench, good old hammer, dual sided spark plug wrench, and we're going to add from that. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to tell me what you would add to this kit. It has to be available to be bought used because I'm going to go try and find it during this series. And it has to fit into this ammo can. And it has to address common things around the house, the homestead, things like that, small engine repair, things that you might need for those operations that will all fit in this toolbox. And that's where we're going to start. And we'll go from there. So I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. All our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, friends, I'm looking forward to your input in the comments section below. 
and I'll be back with another video in this series, Every Man's Ammo Can Tool Can, as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.